Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So in front of us we have two packages of the Xiaomi Mix. It's not the newest version, it's the first version of the Xiaomi Mix. And I ordered two but then I'm only gonna unbox one. The other one was actually a gift and the packaging on these phones are actually very different depending on the company that you buy it from. So the one that I opened had really easy um, packaging. It was flimsy. As you can see, it only came with a thin layer of foam. But the other one that my cousin unboxed had at least two layers of styrofoam fully encasing the package. So I wasn't really impressed by the company that I bought it from initially. But when we opened the case, we now reviewed the Xiaomi Mix. It looks very clean, very nice. But getting to this point, the packaging was actually very difficult to get out of the box itself. It took me a long time. And as you can see, uh, everything is printed in Chinese. They're actually in simplified Chinese. It's telling you to remove the film on the top right, then the volume buttons designated by the plus and minus sign and right below that is the power button. So the phone is very nicely tucked inside so it wouldn't be damaged by the shipping and the shipping has to come from China. That's where all phones are made nowadays, even the famous iPhone. So the phone is actually very nice to the touch, taking it out of the case. You do feel the first film in the front of the screen protecting it and also on the back casing where it's actually made of ceramic. So this phone has ceramic body and according to Phone Arena it only weighs 7.37 ounces. These films are easily removable, which I will do a little bit later. The fingerprint reader is on the back of the case right below the camera. And this is one of the first phones to have such a large screen. It is 6.4 inches and it is actually 23% larger display than the iPhone 7 Plus, which also came out on the same year. This phone was actually released on November 4th, 2016, a couple months later than the iPhone 7 Plus. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this phone was because of the big screen. It comes at 6.4 inches with 1080 by 2040 pixels. And I'm going to start up the phone right now and we're going to see that it takes about 25 seconds to start up. And some other pros about this phone is this phone comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, which wasn't available in any other phone at that time. So we started up the phone. It looks very clean, very nice. It doesn't have any advertisements but it actually comes unlocked. Having said that I was actually disappointed that it didn't work on the Sprint network. So it's actually just a play phone for me right now and yet as you can see later that the screen cracked in about a year. So I'm going to talk more about the user experience as we go on. So when we first open up the phone it's really responsive. The screen's very bright and it looks very good. Actually, a lot of people give me a good review that the phone is very bright, especially when I go clubbing and all. Because the screen to body ratio is actually 84.16% and in the darkness it illuminates very well. Having said that, the screen is actually very intense on the eyes and if you were to wake up in the middle of the night and use your phone, I would recommend dimming it significantly. Now looking at the body of the phone, you do see the screen is actually very close to the edge and it actually has a very small bezel. So that makes it a very nice design. And recently I had a friend hold this phone for the very first time and her first impressions were that it's actually very sleek, which I agree. The ceramic body is actually very nice. It's probably one of the first phones to have that kind of build. And if you've seen it, a review on this phone from other videos, they do try to bend it and it's not bendable. So if you were thinking about getting into this case, I wouldn't recommend it. It's actually very difficult. And it looks like a big one piece phone, which has a very nice build. Looking at the speakers on the bottom, there's a lot of holes for that, but it's actually only one speaker that goes through one hole. Because of that, the sound quality isn't great, and that's disappointing because I like to listen to music, watch movies, play video games, everything I do on the phone, I like it sort of loud. To adjust the sound, you just press the volume button on the side, and then the notification tab comes up. So now we're going to take a look at what else does this package comes with. It includes a case made by the manufacturer themselves, and the case is actually very nice. It fits the phone perfectly. It's pretty grippy. It's made of this rubber plastic kind of material. So other than that, it comes with the regular charger. It's actually a USB-C and also comes with the pamphlet. And on the back of that is this SIM card remover pin, which is great because not many manufacturers include that with their phone. And the great thing about this phone is that it actually supports dual SIM card in case you have the need to use two lines, especially if you have running a business or just for personal needs as well. It's always a good idea to protect your phone. As you can see in the video, I'm preparing to install a glass screen protector. It's not as difficult as you think, but you do want one that covers up the whole screen. Nowadays, phones are very expensive, especially the new ones. So you wanna keep your phone as clean and mint as possible, as long as possible, in case you wanna resell it. 
This is a close look of after the installation, taking off the films. The phone looks very clean. It has these gold rings and gold printed lettering that says mix designed by me. And for those who doesn't know, the word me stands for rice and Xiaomi stands for little rice. So that's the brand for this phone. It's popular in China. I wouldn't say it's very popular here. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks I need to talk about. Uh, support on this phone is actually very bad. Like if you damage the phone or you need help on any kind of troubleshooting, you're not going to get any help at all. So if you're looking for support from the company, it's not going to be available. I tried many times. I tried to reach out to Xiaomi and they do not have a store in the United States. They're only based, I think, mainly in chi uh, China or Hong Kong. And that's just a huge drawback. I'm sort of like disappointed. So now you have been warned, buying an international phone may be cheaper, might have good features, but yet you're not gonna have any support at all. So as you can see right here, the phone is cracked after more than a year of use. I would say about a year, that's when I dropped the phone. It's about, when I dropped it, it was in Walmart, it was about five feet high, and it landed flat on the ground, screen first. So yeah, it's very fragile. I would recommend um, buying a phone that has support within the country. I have been to so many cell phone repair stores and none of them have the parts to fix the screen. So now I think I have to either fly to China and then find a store that can fix it. And that's just a pain in the ass. Another horrible experience I had with this phone is the camera. It has 16 megapixels in the back and five megapixels in the front but yet it took very bad quality of pictures. In the dark, it was very dim. Uh, it has low light quality and just the pictures are just very poor. So again, thank you for watching. Please leave us some comments and I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you, have a nice day.